Learn jQuery 15 minutes. We're going to start by talking about DOM traversal. This means that we're going to walk around the page looking for different things, selecting them and making them have red borders. Now we're familiar with our selectors and also the CSS method of the red borders. Now let's get really specific about how to move around the page. So we have the H2 selected. Let's select all of the children of the H2 and make them have CSS borders. Well, the children is just that one span. So that's how you do that. But what about the parents of H2. Now that's going to grab all of the parents going all the way out to the HTML document. But we can limit where it goes to. Let's say, for example, we want to just stop at the section. Now only the section that's wrapping around the H2 gets selected and applied a border onto it. Now let's say the H2 is a sibling, uh, siblings of, you know, what are, what are all the sibling elements of the H2? Well, those are all the paragraphs, right? And you can even, you can limit the, the paragraphs, uh, let's say even the first. So let's say the siblings who are paragraphs and the first of those. So you, can, so you can use that selector knowledge that you gained in the first few videos, but what about this? Instead of saying first there, how about saying last here as another way to traverse through the DOM, right? Or, or first here. Boop. So let's put this all together and make something like really weird and complicated. Let's say, Let's use that parents, uh, what was it, section, and then what's the, what's like a sibling, a sibling of the, of the, of the section that we're on is going to be, let's look at the HTML, so if this is the section that we're focusing on, a sibling would either be the script tags or even the header here. Now the script tags are not going to show up in the document because they're hidden, but the siblings, well, let's say, we can say header. Now the header will be selected. Now keep in mind that we're starting with the H2, so you can you can never do this in, in uh, CSS. We're, we're starting with the H2, selecting out to the parent, and then moving to a sibling, um, which is the which is the header element. That's just far out, man. That's just that's blowing my mind. But how about this? Let's take it a step further. And now that we have that header, let's say, uh, how about the children of that header and select those. So now we have like the H1 that's not even like remotely related. It's like a second cousin twice removed of the H2 that we started with over here. Isn't that crazy? DOM traversal is so powerful with jQuery and it's easy. Now we're gonna look at event binding. This is the fun stuff. This is what makes all the interaction possible uh, with jQuery. So things like clicks, hovers, things like, um, like inserting a, a cursor into an input field, um, like keystrokes, all this stuff. And, and this is like the magic method is called bind. That, that's, that's the guy right there. So the first bind I wanna show you is you put a little quotes in there and it's called a click. And after the click, this is, it's a little bit more advanced than everything we've done so far. We did it with kind of animations. We're gonna say function and in and then inside of the function is where you put all that stuff. So like if somebody clicks on the H2, what happens? Well, we're gonna use this again, which is the jQuery keyword for whatever is focused on, whatever the object is. Let's use that toggle that we learned and change it to a class of blue. So when we click the H2, we're gonna to toggle the class to blue. Let's save it and then start clicking. Click, click, click. So every click I give, it toggles it back and forward, right? That's because it's bound to the click. That's awesome. And this is a great way to do toggles, to do slide out menus, to do menus, uh, tabs, everything like that. This is all, they're all with like the, the binds here. And a shortcut for click is to not, you don't even have to write bind, you can just write dot click, although it's recommended that you use bind, but you can just use click like this, and it's the same thing, right? I, I probably use click a lot more than I do bind, but you can also do hover, right? So now I'm just moving my mouse over it and I'm getting that reaction because it's not bound to the click anymore, it's bound to the mouse hovering over it. What about this one? This one's gonna blow your mind. If I go to the HTML, and I say key press. This is no longer a mouse thing. If I'm just like in this document and I press any key, it's gonna to toggle uh, everything in the HTML to blue. So now all these keys that I'm pressing is like a laser show and I'm just switching the class on the HTML element, turning everything blue. Isn't that exciting? Say it with me now. I love jQuery. All right, after these 15 minutes, you have all the tools you need to understand 
just what the heck you're looking at when you see some jQuery. We've covered all the basics. To further your study, I recommend spending a lot of time on the jQuery docs, actually. You can get to those at api.jQuery.com. They're pretty good and they're easy to read and understand most everything really that I ever learned about jQuery, I learned reading the docs, so check those out. It's a good resource. But the best way to really learn about something is to begin applying it. You will quickly pick up those little tips and tricks and tools that will make you proficient when you're using what you learn daily. The best way to do that is through project-based learning. And that's why my Killing It with jQuery courses that I'm currently developing take the project-based approach. We're gonna be making image sliders, modals, menus, and more. But the difference is that not only are you gonna be walking away with working customizable projects that you can begin charging your clients for immediately. But we're going to be using these projects as a study in how a programmer thinks through a script and what are the resources available for when you hit that brick wall or how to debug your code or how to think about your code from a user's perspective and how to set yourself up to quickly learn any JavaScript library in the future. So yes, the course is about jQuery, but also so much more. So when you go to killingitwithjQuery.com, you can sign up to be informed about updates as I go along, little snacks of value and bonuses that I'll be sending to everybody as I gear up for the release later this year. And if you're watching this now, Later, after the course has already been released, we'll go to killingitwithjQuery.com and start killing it with jQuery, right? Link is definitely in the description below. I'm Travis, and this is DevTips. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'll see you next Monday. Keep on hacking. Okay, okay, okay. Killing it. Killing it with jQuery. 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 No, how do you even say this? How do you, how do you say killing it with jQuery without sounding stupid? Killing it with jQuery. <laughs> killing it with jQuery. Killing it. Killing it with jQuery. Oh, that was a mess. Jeez. All right. That knife or a gun. Killing it with jQuery. Killing it with jQuery. Yo, killing it with jQuery, yo. Yo, I'm just a killing it with jQuery, yo. Killing it. Killing it. Killing it with jQuery. Killing it with jQuery. That's that's the winner. That's the winner.